What's good, YouTube? I'm 92 here, back again once again. Today, people, today, today, people, today, we have some more Pokemon Sun and Moon news and information for you guys. So, what I want to know is who's ready to have a video taken down and blocked worldwide? Jokes aside, if you actually don't end up seeing the trailer reaction portion in this video, that means that YouTube, not specifically YouTube, the Pokemon Company International are being amazing people and shafting me as hard as they possibly can, so we'll only have the recap towards the end with the information from the Pokemon website. But either way, brand new trailer has released today, and from what I hear, it is the starter evolution. So let's go ahead and get into it, and you might be asking, hey, Nappy, why are you using green screen today? Because... I've had my green screen up for like the past two or three days, and it's honestly been the best green screen. It's it, it's it's acted and reacted the best that it ever has. So we're just gonna rock out and roll with it because I'm getting sort of confident and cocky using it. Well, let's take cocky out of our vocabulary. We're getting confident using it, so we might end up using it a bit more here on the channel just because it's in such a great position. And I know that sounds super duper lazy, but you know what? It is what it is. And if this positioning on the trailer ends up covering things up that you find vitally important, then I apologize. A link to the original trailers included in. In the description below and again i'm sorry for ruining your day but either way let's go ahead and get into this pikachu show me what you got if you guys are hyped for sun and moon of course if you're a proud member of the happy nation make sure you smash the like button down below for us your partner pokemon have evolved rowlet evolves into dartrix oh look at this little preteen looking ass nigga look at this little preteen looking ass nigga oh he's got the fringe and everything oh fuck up that I almost call it a cell rock. Oh shit! Oh, oh, his eye open. Oh my god. Oh, I sent chills down my spine. Toracat. Toracat. Okay. I'm buying it. I like the little ball of fire on his neck. I definitely like this evolution better than it's than, than Litten. Toracat's definitely a lot doper than Litten. I'll give you that much. They're not dual typing either. They're just singular typing so far. Wait for them to evolve. And my nigga Poplio evolves into Brion. Or is it Brion? Like, is it like Brine? Look at this little. It clearly is a, a very feminine Pokemon. Seeing as it looks like it's wearing a dress. I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel about mons that are modeled that way. Like, that was, that was always an issue for me, like, growing up with Gardevoir. Like, Gardevoir, you had a male Gardevoir. I was like, what? The ability is torn, but why did it fall asleep? Have fun with other players in Festival Plaza. Sophocles, look at Nathan. Look at Nathan. What the hell is this place where you can come to use communication devices? Earn Festival Coins by fulfilling other players' requests. Hell no. I mean, this is this is what we were talking about before we Shady. We were saying it's more like an actual RPG. And this is, you're doing like little side quests. And missions and whatnot. I mean, this only extends the longevity of the game. But, uh... It reminds me of some shit from like Super Mystery Dungeon or something. I don't know. Poke Pelago is a paradise for the Pokemon in your PC boxes. Oh. Mon. His name is Mon. Go to Poke Pelago to have a bit of fun whenever they want. Island Abins. I tried wild Pokemon that might join your game. That wild piggy bag seems real pleased. Isle Afun. Let your Pokemon search for valuable items. Huh. Flowstone, shiny stone, leaf stone, dust stone, I'll evil up. Evolve your, leave your Pokemon here for trading. Hydration is key. G drink selection? What the hell? Relive Mega Evolution. The Z ring helps feeling a trainer's the only to achieve Mega Evolution too. <gasps> so Mega Evolution is coming back. So everyone was saying it was going to be split with the Z ring. I like the new Mega Evolution animation too. Looks like a Wi Fi battle background is the exact fucking same. But I knew it! I knew it! I'm sorry, Shady! Shady was convinced that Mega Evolution wasn't in the game anymore, but it's like, they can't just remove such a large part of the game they introduced just in the last generation. So that's dope! I'm glad Mega Evolutions are back. So we have Z attacks and Mega Evolutions. But still, do you only get to use one per battle, or is it one Mega Evolution and one Z attack per battle? Special demo version available starting October 18th. Bro, that's in... 14, that's in two weeks! With a special Pokemon? Oh, don't tell me this is going to be Ash Greninja's shit. Fully charged due to his bond with his trainer. Greninja's battle bond? So this Greninja has a special ability. Oh, God. Ash Greninja is in the game. You can transfer Ash Greninja to the full version of your game. 
<laughs> Greninja is the new Charizard, bro. He is the new Charizard. So I wonder, what difference does it make? Does it still have protein, or is or is that actually just his ability? You know what I mean? Like, is that actually just his ability? Why you do this? Why you do this? That, that's definitely gonna... Pokemon Origins just popped up. Let's hope and pray that that doesn't get tagged. Uh, but I, I don't know how I feel about that. Let's rewatch it. Let's rewatch it in half speed. I want to rewatch it in half speed just to catch everything that we may have missed. I don't know how I feel about Ash Ninja being in game. Like I said, Greninja's the new Charizard and they're doing all this extra shit. And shout out to the soundtrack, bro. You hear it in the background? Shout out to the soundtrack. So, starting over from the beginning, we have the new starter evolutions. And this nigga, Dartrix, I don't know how to feel about him. I really don't know how to feel about him. Grass flying. Oh, he is dual typing. The other two aren't dual typing yet. So Dartrix is grass flying. Ha ha. Ha ha. Let's mute this audio. Let's mute this audio because I ain't trying to hear that shit distorted in the background. But he is grass flying. Well, Rowlet was grass flying to begin with. This is like Gen 1 all over again. Bulbasaur was grass poisoned from the jump. And everyone else had to wait to get a secondary evolution. Well, Blastoise never ended up getting a secondary evolution. So if they follow that, that means that... Litten is going to have a secondary typing for his final evo, and Popliola isn't. But still, I think out of all the secondary evolutions, Tor Torcat is my favorite. I'll say that much. Litten is my least favorite starter of evo, but just for design-wise, I like Torcat the best. It actually looks... I don't know. I don't know I don't know what to say. It just it looks cool. Whereas, like, Litten is just like, oh, God. It's a fire kitten. Everyone's going to like it. I've just been too hipster to, to rock out with Litten. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, Popliola's evolution needs to grow on me a little bit. It's just, it's just so, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. Like I said, when I was growing up, that was one issue that I always had with Gardevoir. Like, I love Gardevoir, don't get me wrong. I love it when I'm using a female Gardevoir, but it was like, if you ever had a male Gardevoir, you just sit there like, what the fuck is going on? Why is this Pokemon in a dress? I don't get why they model Mons specifically after like, one one gender or another like that. Bryon, is it Bryon or Brion? Brione? The only reason I say Bry is because of like Brine, you know? But I don't know what the what the uh, base of the name comes from. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the evolution. It gets lighter as it evolves, too. I noticed that, too. It gets lighter as it evolves. Whereas before it was like a dark blue, now it's like a light blue. I'm more so interested to see what their final evolutions are. There are a lot of people saying that this is going to be the final trailer before Sun and Moon. Well, I mean, I guess since the demo drops in two weeks, it would be. So I can only imagine we're going to have a shit ton of speculation videos from here on out. I'm sure we'll have discussion videos uh, with a bunch of people discussing the starters, Ash Greninja, uh, the, the festival coin shit and whatnot. Because all this is wild. Why did it fall asleep? Why did it fall asleep? We're gonna fall asleep. I keep fucking yawning because it's 7 a.m. here. <laughs> I apologize. It's 7 a.m. here. Welcome to the Festival Plaza. I'm Sophocles. So is this like his thing that he does? He manages the Festival Plaza. The starter, your the starter trainer chick was standing there. Secret place where you can come to play using communication features. Earn festival coins by fulfilling other players' requests. I, I said it first. Oh hell no, because I don't play this game for other people. I play this game for me. God damn it. But I wonder, like, what do you... You use Festival Coins to get, um... Uh, customization shit. Because that's what we saw from the last trailer, is that you were purchasing clothes and changing your eye color and your hair color using Festival Coins. So I guess it works hand-in-hand. Hand. Like I said, it it increased the longevity of the game. You get to play through all these extra things. You have to pay to do the... What? Pikachu's base HP went up a lot. Holy shit, never mind. I was inside. I thought you had to pay to play the game, but you're pretty much paying festival coins. Unusual product. One PP Hoenn set. Je what? All that extra shit. Poke Pelago is a paradise for Pokemon in your PC boxes. Is this like a uh, Pokemon box? We have Pokemon got po Pokemon box and Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Sun and Moon. I still can't get over the fact his name is Moon. The Pokemon that you deposit in your PC box can freely come here to Poke Pelago to have a bit of fun whenever they want. Isle Abins. I track wild Pokemon and they might enjoy your game. I don't understand that though. I don't understand that those track wild Pokemon and they might join your game. That wild piggyback seems real pleased to have gotten some attention from you. Isle Afun. Let your Pokemon search for valuable items. So you can you can catch Pokemon while your Pokemon are in the PC. You can get items while your Pokemon are in the PC. Leaf Stone, Dust Stone, Float Stone, and Shiny Stone. 
That's actually not bad. I get, I bet you that would be that would be the only way to get those stones in the game though. Leave your Pokemon here for training. They have jelly beans in the game. That's how you attract the mons on the first island. I'll evil up. What kind of drink would you like to make your Pokemon? Hydration is key. A tropical drink prepared specially specific specially for Pokemon to increase their experience points. Level boost drink. What the fuck? Relive Mega Evolution. Z-ring helps train helps. The, what the fuck? I can't read this morning. It's 7:30 in the goddamn morning. It only follows what should be able to receive Mega Evolutions too. So they're saying the Z-ring. Look at that Mega Evolution animation. Just a few tweaks. The gold before it erupts. That's awesome. That's awesome. I don't care. That's absolutely amazing. It just sucks that the Wi-Fi battle background is the exact same. That's one thing that a lot of people have been like asking and begging and pleading for. Wait for the gold. Wait for the gold. It's too nice. It's too nice. That's one thing that people have definitely been asking and pleading for for the longest time. Just give us some sort of customization with the battle background. Like it's a little different. In X and Y and Oris, it was more like a teal blue, and in Sun and Moon here, you'd see more green on the battle background. But still, like, I wish, like, even if you could just change the, the hue and the tint of that, even if you made the background all just the same, if you could change the hue and the tint of, like, the color in the background, that would give the players a little bit of a customization option, but instead, we're just stuck with this pea green battle background. That's real swell. That's super swell. Look at that Draco Meteor animation. That's not the same as before, either. Yo, Sun and Moon is changing the game. Giggity goddamn. And of course, we have a special demo version that everybody and their mother is going to be all over. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eventually, through the special demo version with a special Pokebot. Grenadier use water shuriken. Oh yeah. What I want to know is what causes it to evolve. Because it activates like it's an ability. So, does this Grenadier not have Protean? Grenadier became fully charged due to his bond with its trainer. Greninja's Battle Bond. Yeah, that sounds like a actual ability. So I wonder, is that going to be an ability that other form Mons get and whatnot? You know, is Surfing Pikachu going to be? Yo, look at this animation, though. Ash Greninja. It's, it makes it... See, the reason that I'm not... It's, I'm too hipster with shit like this is because the trainer ourselves, we aren't Ash. So why is it when our Battle Bond with Greninja activates, he becomes Ash Greninja? Like, I get, I, I, I'm thinking too far into it. It's just a video game, and they're just trying to add what was popular in the anime into the video games themselves. But still, it's just like, I don't, I don't quite get that. I'm not, alright, we'll just rock out with it. Fine, cool, whatever, big dog. <laughs> sure. So, Ash Canoe is going to be in the game as well, along with uh, a demo that's dropping October 18th. It's a month before the game comes out, November 18th. But, if we switch over to the Pokemon website, we can actually break shit down even further well only new things we saw well we, we have cool features and shit to check out too but let's let's just dive into the pokemon first so we have dartrix the blade quilt pokemon grass flying two foot four inches 35.3 pounds with overgrow course dartrix is extremely sensitive to other presences in its area and can detect opponents behind it and throw feathers to strike them without even seeing them this pokemon conceals sharp bladed feathers inside its wings showing astounding precision as it sends them flying and attack this nigga is like Angel from Apocalypse, and it goes beyond propelling its blade quills into simple straight lines. It can even bend these feathers to change their trajectories. All right, this nigga is James McAvoy and Angelina Jolie, and wasn't Morgan Freeman in that movie too? Wanted? Who remembers that shit? Who remembers that shit? Revealing a certain snobbiness in its personality, Dartra cares cares a great deal about its appearance. Grooming its feathers at every spare moment. In truth, it's also a bit of a bird brain with a tendency to bundle things up. Once it makes a mistake, it sometimes gets into a desperate struggle to gloss over the situation and ends up making a bigger mess than ever. At times, this Pokemon feels so bothered by its dirty or ruffled feathers that it can't focus on a battle. When it loses its focus, it sometimes even re retires from the battle on the spot. It's up to each trainer to help Dartrix overcome the trouble this troublesome stage. This Pokemon is with a trainer who helps it though its strength will grow hugely. So what are you trying to say? When it evolves, it's gonna be a fucking monster? Is that what I'm hearing? I told you, it's like it's teenager phase. Like it's, it doesn't, it doesn't know where it's all at right now at the moment. I don't know. I like Dartrix. I'll say I like Dartrix a whole hell of a lot better than Rowlet. Rowlet again. Rowlet was just the the one that everyone liked because it was just the meme. And again, I'm too hipster to rock out with shit like that. But I like Dartrix a lot. I really do like Dartrix a lot. I like the the idea of like I compared it to Angel from X Men, but. 
I like how he tosses quills and shit at, at, at uh, at Mons, but the whole snobbing and shit, like, get over yourself, bro. You're just a starter, bitch. Like, what the fuck? Oh, next we have Toracat, the fire cat Pokemon. 2455.1 pounds. That's a chunky monkey. The bell like object attached to the base of Torcat's neck is a, is a flame sack, an organ that can produce flames. Torcat's emotions cause a rise in the organ's temperature, and when the organ spit, spits flames, it rings with the high, clear sound of a bell. Torcat attacks using the flames emitted from this bell. Torcat's main serves as an excellent sensory organ and can sense what's going on around it, even in the dark. It can also detect the presence of hidden enemies. Hmm. Torcat has a great love for battle and will also and will attack so relentlessly that its opponents will lose, lose the will to fight. And yet it sometimes behaves like spoiled like spoiled What? And yet it sometimes behaves like spoiled child in front of trainers or Pokemon with whom it has built a relationship of trust. So you have a snob and a, a baby, essentially. The cat punch that this Pokemon can dish out with a strong foil is extremely powerful. It can bend iron bars and knock out large men with a single blow. Watch it not get fire punch. Calling it right now. Watch it not get fire punch. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say the first one, the dart trick sounds like a physical attacker. This sounds like a physical attacker as well. But the idea of a, a flame sack attacking the flames makes it seem like it's a special attacker. And I feel like dart is gonna get like hurricane and leaf tornado or leaf storm. So I don't know how I feel about these just yet. I don't know how I feel. Then we have Brian, the pop star Pokemon. I don't like it. I don't like what they did to it. I don't like what they did to it. Like it. Why is it a pop song? Why is it a singer? Why is it? Why? Why? <sighs> Rion, Rion learns his dances by imitating the other members of its colony. It sometimes even learns dances from humans. This Pokemon is a hard worker and pours itself into efforts until it has memorized each dance. As it dances, Brion creates balloon after balloon. In battle, it first sends its opponents into disarray with its dancing and then slaps its balloon into its target, causing the balloons to explode and deal damage. Brion can dance in perfect time with others even if they have only just met. On moonlit nights, you can sometimes see thongs, throngs of Brion dancing as one in perfect fluidity. Brion always acts cheery and positive. Even when it's feeling sad, this Pokemon doesn't allow its sorrow to show. It said that Brion will only reveal a sad expression to a Pokemon or trainer to whom it has opened his heart completely. Oh, so even though I don't like the whole design behind it, the idea behind it, it's still probably the most reasonable and logical one of them all. One's a snob, one's a fucking baby, and one is mature and logical and level-headed throughout no matter any situation. So, I'm just saying, I like popular, I don't know, I just, I, I don't know how I feel about the design. I just, I can't get over it. Like, why would you make a starter so affectionately feminine? I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, I'm trying to think. Have they done that with any starter in the past? It's always been kind of neutral. So whether you're a boy or a girl playing the game, you know, you can rock out with your Pokemon. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it. It's just, it just doesn't make sense to me to make a starter like that. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm treading in over certain water here and someone's gonna get upset. But you get what I'm saying. You get the point I'm making at least. But... Either way, Ash Greninja is up next. Ninja Pokemon, its ability is in fact Battle Bond. So we have a new ability, Greninja. I'm guessing it's going to be, Battle Bond is going to be for event Pokemon. And maybe throughout the anime we'll see more Pokemon that have like trainer forms with their close bonded trainers. Ash Greninja is powered up thanks to the strength of its bonds with Ash. Powered up. Powered up. This is the form Greninja takes when it has gained new power due to the miraculous occurrence known as Bond Phenomenon. Okay, so we have Z-Moves and Bond Phenomenon. Z-Moves, Ultra Beasts, and Bond Phenomenon. This can be brought on by the bonds between people and Pokemon. It seems that it's only known to have occurred once several hundred years ago. Ash Greninja's leg strength has been enhanced compared to ordinary Greninja, make it difficult to see because of the speed at which it can move. It takes its enemies out in a flash. That's what we need. We need a Greninja speed to go up, right? Because it's base 122 or whatever the fuck it is as of right now, which is just too slow for the current game. Too slow. It becomes able to make giant water shurikens on its back and can throw them in rapid succession. Greninja that can become Ash Greninja have an ability that no Pokemon has ever had before. Battle Bond. The Battle Bond ability triggers this Pokemon's form change to Ash Greninja after it causes an opponent's Pokemon to faint. When the battle ends, this Pokemon returns to its original Greninja form. This form is only for battles and where it needs to break the limits. <sighs> Alright then. Let's double check. Let's 
double check. I want to see if my Pokemon Master skills are still as crisp as they ever were. Is Greninja's base speed actually 122? It is actually base 122. Hot damn, I use my handy dandy Pokedex app on my telephono. My cellular telephono, and it is base 122. I still don't know how I feel about that. I really don't know how I feel about Let's make Greninja faster. Let's make it so... I don't know if he hits any harder. It just he has a giant water shirt on his back. So I would assume, you know, you have a giant weapon on your back and it hit harder. But at least he doesn't have Protean. So now Greninja has abilities where his damage is increased when his health is low. His speed is increased when he changes form. And his typing changes so that every move is stabbed. I mean, I know I said he's the new Charizard, but they never gave Charizard all of that. Well, they didn't, again, they did give him two Mech Evolutions. Yo. <laughs> oh, I'm so hipster. My hipster is just... It's activating right now. It's activating so hard right now. Let us double check and see if they have uh, anything under these tabs uh, in regards to the new features that we saw. We don't see anything. I don't know. I don't know if they mentioned anything about Mega Evolution. Don't I mention anything about Mega Evolution here? They mention it here. They have the global link. Relive Mega Evolution. Play the demo. Hot diggity damn. I'll hop at Poke Palago. Hang out at the Festival Plaza. So let's check this out. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. This art is dope as fuck. Number one. Join the fun at Festival Plaza. In Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, communication features such as battling and trading are all gathered together in Festival Plaza. This is a place where the festivities never stop as Pokemon trainers from around the world meet and mingle. As you progress through your adventures, you'll, be able, you'll become able to use Festival Plaza where you can welcome other people and take requests to keep things hopping. Ooh, keep it hopping, bruh. Keep it hopping. I keep it hopping, bruh. I keep it hopping. Talk to your visitors to liven things up. Show visitors around so they can enjoy the festival. Show visitors around so they can enjoy the festival. Team Yellow. I want to shop. What's a recommend? What, 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 what do you recommend a good place to shop? Festival Plaza owner Captain Sophocles. So he's got more than one role in the game. And tell me that don't look like Nathan. Nathan needs to do a fucking Sophocles cosplay. I don't give a shit. Connect with other players. People playing Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon near you. And players from around the world who are connected to the internet will visit Festival Plaza. And you can enjoy playing with them using a variety of communication features including battling and trading. Oh. Shop with festival coins. Welcome to a dye house. That's how you change your, your clothes colors to navy blue. Dye clothes your favorite color at dye houses. By talking to people and listening to the requests, you can receive festival coins, which you can spend in Festival Plaza. There are all kinds of cool stores in Festival Plaza, such as goodie shops where you can get deals on items, bouncy houses for Pokemon to train in, and dye houses where you can dye your, your clothes new colors. The rank of your Festival Plaza increases based on the number of festival coins you gather. As its rank goes up, you receive rewards, and the things that you can do in the Festival Plaza will also increase. Tackle missions as a team. As your Festival Plaza's rank goes up, you'll gain the ability to host missions, where multiple players can try to com complete a certain goal together. Missions can be attempted with other players you connect to via local wireless or the internet. It also seems that global missions will sometimes be held in which everyone playing Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon can work together to achieve a goal. So it is like, uh, take on missions together, have Pokemon type matchup battles. So it's a type that's super effective against the Pokemon that people mention. Oh my goodness. So it is more like an actual RPG based game. But that sounds like uh, the Faction War from Mortal Kombat X. You guys have played Mortal Kombat X where you team up and you you try to do certain objectives while you're fighting to get points towards your faction. Like that's what it sounds like to me. I'm sorry, that's what it sounds like to me. But I don't know how I feel about the Festival Plaza. It sounds dope, it sounds like a good idea. It sounds like I said, an extra way to increase longevity. We could sit in live stream just bullshitting in the Festival Plaza for like four or five hours, just collecting coins, training mods up, goddammit. Uh, Poke Palago, a paradise for Pokemon in PC boxes. Jesus Christ, that is one hell of an alliteration. In Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, there is a feature known as Poke Palago, which Pokemon that have been placed in boxes can enjoy. Poke Palago consists of a variety of aisles where Pokemon can go exploring, play on athletic equipment, and enjoy other fun activities. If you send many Pokemon to Poke Palago, you can develop the facilities on your aisles, on your aisles, and develop new kinds of aisles as well. As these aisles are developed and increase in number, you'll be able to do things like obtain your items or raise your Pokemon. Yeah, just like in uh, X and Y, how you can only get Dust Stone through. Uh, Terminus Cave, not Terminus, was it Terminus? Yeah, Terminus Cave, at uh, Turnback Cave is 4th gen. Through Terminus Cave and uh, Super Trading. So I feel like that's going to be the exact same way here, where it's like there's going to be an item that's available either once in game or not at all in game, 
The only way to get them is through this this game type. There's a beanstalk in the middle. I know I said it was jelly beans. There's a beanstalk that's in the middle of this picture. So I'm guessing these are beans that fall off the beanstalk. We have three islands that they speak about in the trailer. Isle Abbeans. Pokemon visiting Isle Abbeans, which you can visit from the start, may sometimes choose to join your party. A Pokemon that displays a heart icon in the bubble above its head has taken a liking to you. Wow. Wow. I wonder if this... If this it reminds me of like the Dream World. Like a whole different place that you can drop your Pokemon off at and you can get different stuff. So I wonder if there's going to be Mons that have certain abilities if you catch them on Isle Abbeans versus in the actual game themselves. Like what's the actual benefit to trying to attract a Pokemon on this island versus just catching it in game? Or is this going to be like the Friend Safari kind of thing where only certain Mons appear on Isle Abbeans or whatever? Who knows? In Isle Alphoon you can which you can use once you develop it, you may be able to obtain valuable items. Floatstone, Moonstone, Leafstone, Thunderstone, Hardstone. Once you, which you can use once you develop it, you may be able to obtain valuable items. Once you develop it. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Once you develop it. That's interesting. Huh. Play the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon special demo version. Beginning October 18th, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon special demo version will be available on the Nintendo eShop. Yeah! This is your chance to meet the Pokemon that can be found on November 18th, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Ash Greninja, the Pokemon that appears with the hero Ash in the anime TV series Pokemon the Series XYZ, haha, will also appear in the game as a member of your team. You can adventure together. Bring Ash Greninja to Pokemon Sun or Moon. You can also bring this Greninja, which is able to turn into Ash Greninja, to your full version of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon after launch once you've completed your adventure together in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon special demo version. Bam! A Pokeball containing a Greninja from a certain someone, an adventure separate from those of Pokemon Sun and Moon, is about to begin. Greninja's appearance is changed by the Bond phenomenon. A separate, an adventure separate from those of Pokemon Sun and Moon is about to begin. What does that mean? Powered up by the Bond Phenomenon. Oh shit, this takes us to the Ash Greninja page. And it just tells you how to download Ash Greninja in the demo as well. Huh. An adventure separate from those in Pokemon Sun and Moon is about to begin. Are they referring to just the notion of the Bond Phenomenon actually beginning? Hmm. So many questions, so many questions. And finally, we have Mega Evolution returning in Pokemon Sun and Moon. A select number of Pokemon were able to Mega Evolve in Pokemon Mega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Pokemon X, and Pokemon Y. As long as you're in position of the proper Mega Stone, any of those Mega Evolved Pokemon that can be caught in the Alola region will be able to Mega Evolve in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon as well. The Mega Stone Pokemon that appear in the Alola region may be received from people in the game or obtained from special shops. So, that's one thing that everyone was worrying about, is how are you able to get the Mega Stones in game because you can't transfer them through Pokemon Bank. This is a Mega Stone that makes Alakazam Mega Evolve. It's called an Alakazite. What? One of the variety of mysterious Mega Stones have Gengar Hold, and this stone will be enabled Mega Evolve during battle. So you have battle points. So is this like. These aren't festival coins like you saw before. So this is like from the Battle Maison. So is the Battle Maison in the game again? Gengarite, Scissorite, Pinsarite, Aerodactylite, Lucarionite, Kangaskhanite, Gyaradosite. The fact that. All these are being sold in one place like this tells me that I think that they're gonna make you go out and find the Z-Ring stones instead because this is like oh you already found these Mega Stones in two games already we're just gonna make them available for you in this game because we don't want to get rid of Mega Evolution just yet but I feel like they're gonna make you go and find and collect the like the Snorlinium Z and the Pikachinium Z or whatever the fuck it's called I feel like that's what they're gonna make you do Whereas, like, Dexio just gives you the Alakazite, and the rest of the Mega Stones are available post-game, which is kind of wild. Well, I say post-game just because the Battle Maze almost post-game in X and Y, and, uh, I think Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Mega Evolution is an evolution that goes beyond all previous Pokemon evolutions. Pokemon that Mega Evolve temporarily unleashed the power hidden within them, tapping into a strength that would be beyond imagining in regular evolution. There are two conditions that must be fulfilled for Mega Evolution to occur. First, trainers must wear a special item called Keystone, while Pokemon hold a specific Mega Stone for their par particular species. Second, a trainer must have a strong bomb with his or her Pokemon. Huh. I was gonna. I, the only reason I wanted to see what is Mega Evolution was to see if they mentioned anything with uh, involving the Z Ring as well. But I don't know. That's a lot of information. A lot of questions have been raised from this quote-unquote final trailer. 
which like I said the the demo drops two weeks from today so it'll be interesting to see what ends up happening in the next two weeks I know I'm gonna have a ton of speculation videos that go up and whatnot so let me know what you guys think about everything that we discussed so much so so much has been discussed and spoken about just here today alone let us know what you guys think in the comment section below as well and of course if you're a proud member of the happy nation and of course if you're hyped for sun and moon make sure you smash the like button down below for us as well but with that we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here thank you all once again for your support if you're in the video i'm out this bitch Yay!